Oh, hi. Welcome back to For Real. People often ask us what has become of the old airport since it was decommissioned. And today we're going out there to find out. And we are riding everyone. It's a Friday afternoon and what else would you do on a Friday afternoon but go for a ride out to the old airport. So that's what we're doing. What have you got to say today, Jeremy? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. I'm riding. It's hot. Uh, some goings on just here. Flags. Oh. There's a speaker strapped onto the top of these cars. And some music to get into the spirit. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my god, check out this wall of sound coming up here. Oh wow, I felt that in my heart. <laughs> we just turned off the highway and we're heading up the old airport road. Ooh. Gansberg, Gansberg, Gansberg. Okay, so we're here at the car and bike show. It's got a pleasant drag, racing, drag, racing, drag, racing. So we're going over to see that. This is the old airport, Siri Airport International. I'm taking the sign down. So you could actually end up coming here and waiting for a plane that never arrives. So we've got a selection of bikes out here. This one's got the full the BMW, it's got a bit of cash there. Nice panniers. I know what everyone's doing outside. Let's see if we can get inside. Okay, we'll go through here. Bet you everyone remembers this, the exit point. Well, there's the carousels, not doing anything. You think they could repurpose them, hey, in the new one? You can see your luggage while we're going around. Yeah. Yes, this is how big the old airport used to be. This is it. Going out into the drag racing, drag racing. Maybe we can get a cold beverage. The BMW X6, a car I'll never have. It was pretty flash. Oh. And we're on tarmac. Oh, there's drinks there. Just sting. Hello. What's happening over here? Motorbikes. I want to get something for the PCX. Go the other side with the shaders. Flash bikes. Oh, the bus is still there. The bus is, that's crazy. I think they could be used. That's mad. Surely. Look at all those buses just sitting there, yeah. falling apart. Right. Okay, I'll go back outside, trying some shade. Okay. All foods, all foods. Since so we're going crazy tonight. Holy shit, that sun is hot. I feel like we're here a little bit too early. I don't know. I feel like they're just getting set up. I don't particularly want to walk across here in the sun because it's brutally hot but I'm doing it oh okay there's some bikes and cars there's things going on over there it would seem anyway halfway there now Jeremy's bailed on me can't handle the heat so weird to be walking on the tarmac filming because normally you're not supposed to do that so quite strange this lady in front of me has the right idea. If you're coming out here, bring an umbrella. That's a great idea. Because whichever way the weather goes, you're going to be winning with an umbrella. OK, 
Okay, the action appears to be going on over there. But there's some cars here we can have a quick look at. And I'll share all of my car knowledge with you. <laughs> Which is pretty much nothing. Look how low these things are. You'd be lucky to slide a piece of paper under that. Wow. Hey, this thing is called the Hype Beast. The funny thing about this is being in Cambodia, anything goes. There's a red one. I think that's all I can tell you about that car. It's red. This one's black. It's a Maybach. Some kind of speed car. I don't know. Everyone's heading in this direction. Oh, this must be the pit, this area here. Let's have a look. Doing some work there on the go. right in the middle of where they're about to go. <laughs> if you wondered what was powering the whole gig, here it is here, it's a Jenny in the middle of the field. I think I'll get him ready for the packing. to me like the cars are starting to take position and moving up. There's several layers of starting involved. Yeah, looks like time trials are starting. Good use of an old airport vehicle there. Good to see. I wonder if he's doing runs back to the um, terminal building. He'd be welcome right now. I'm glad they've got a fire engine out here too. Although I think it's a little bit too far away to be of much use. This one looks like he's gonna be dragging with a luggage rack on top. Extra weight, I don't know. Now there's some money and cars here today. Cars in general don't come cheap in Cambodia. So cars like this, you can imagine would be worth an absolute fortune. I guess it's just going to get busier and busier the later it gets. Look at the angle on those wheels, it's crazy. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, here's a look at the um, entrance to the old airport. There we go. I think we have to go out this way. 
Oh, that was really fun. I think we only saw a fraction of the excitement that is going to occur, but I'm sure it's going to be a great event. And the fact that it's free, locals are getting out and getting behind it is fantastic. And what fun to be able to come out to the old airport and have a look around too. Here we go, we paid 2,000 real for the parking. 50 cents, that's a bargain. Here we are with all our friends, going back into town. Let's wrap things up with an onion. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that visit to the old airport and a look at the drag racing situation in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.